Hello everybody, Dr. Tommy John coming to you from Cooperstown, New York. The topic for today is on inflammation. A lot of people have been asking me questions about inflammation. I'm going to speak about it tonight at the seminar. Um, everybody's view on it is very backwards and that can be very dangerous as we move forward in our healthy journey together on how to approach it. Okay, simply put, when a cell is damaged inside the body, any kind of cell, bone, skin, ligament, tendon, pancreas, when it gets damaged, it cues this through the innate intelligence, this inflammatory cascade. This is all so that it repairs that cell, that damaged cell. It brings in blood, it flushes out garbage, it brings in white cells, it brings in new vasculature. It, it, it does so much for the purpose of repair that it's vital. We want to thank God that inflammation is there. What we don't want to have is inflammation lingering for a period of time. Inflammation is there to heal and then let us know that there's damage done so that then we can take our bodies out of the environment it's been in to create this damage, forcing a healing response and put it into a, a better healing environment. Um, but what we end up doing is taking anti-inflammatories to shut down the healing response we ice to prevent inflammation from happening. Uh, and there are injections, cortisone, uh, epidurals, like you name it, it's all anti-inflammatory. Take out the inflammation, you'll be out of pain. But what you've also done is stopped healing for that period of time. Scary part about drugs that are anti-inflammatory in nature, they're not specific to one specific area of the body. They will create an anti-inflammatory response globally. So your whole body now is not going to heal how it should, whether it's your intestines or your bone. Now, here's the thing with everybody saying, well, eat anti-inflammatory foods. The beauty part about that is no food is anti-inflammatory. What it does is it gets the body in a position so that the body can then create an inflammatory response to heal appropriately, bringing down inflammation as the healing's done. The food itself does not lessen inflammation. So the safe part about eating a food that's anti-inflammatory in nature, like cod liver oil, um, is that the body will, when it's appropriately ready, it will deal with the inflammation and then bring it down. So there's no way you can artificially bring down inflammation through a food. It just doesn't work that way. But think about this now. Before you take an anti-inflammatory or do anything anti-inflammatory in nature, think about one, why is the inflammation there? What's the damage? What's caused the damage? And do I really wanna shut down this protective mechanism that's going about healing my system from the source? Something to think about. Inflammation is a very vital, necessary process. Thank you that we have it. We just don't want it around for a really long time. So we gotta listen to our bodies, put ourselves in a better environment to function at a better level and your body will reward you with less pain, less inflammation when the healing is done. That's all for today. Dr. Tommy John, Cooperstown, New York. You have a good day.